are you bears this morning? How's everybody doing? Hey, Mrs. Byron, how's it going? Hey, Alex, how are you? It's a beautiful morning. The sun's coming up. I brought you bears a surprise. I'm going to give you a hint. It starts with a k sound. K -e -ch -k -e -ch Kittens. Kittens. Look, I brought some kittens. Oh my goodness, Mrs. Byer, they're so cute. And look, here's Joe Dog. Hi, Joe Dog. Hi, kittens. Did you come to learn with us today? Yeah, I we did. That's this little black and white kitten. And there's the whole black kitten. And the other kittens went and had it overnight. So. Hey, Mrs. Byer, what you doing today? Well, monkey, we're going to learn from this new book called Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. Except we're going to teach, change it to Teach Your Child to Read Words and Sentences in 100 Easy Lessons. There's a little more to reading than just this book. And so I'm going to help you, monkey, and parents know what to say. So parents, once you get your copy of a book... You're going to read along with the manual, and I'm going to do it up here for you, monkey, okay? Okay, Mrs. Byer, I'm ready. Okay, monkey, now I need you to follow my directions exactly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk. What you doing, Mrs. Byer? Hey, monkey. So, we're at Montana Bear School, and we're going to teach the boys and girls my new favorite book I just got called Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. Except monkey, we're changing the name. Are you going to teach it to teach your monkey to read in 100 Easy Lessons, Mrs. Byer? <laughs> oh, monkey, you're so silly. No, we're going to change it to Teach Your Child to Read Words and Sentences in 100 Easy Lessons. Because there's a lot more to reading than just phonics, but this will teach your child to decode words and we're just going to start right today with lesson one because parents I know I've tried to teach students I've had a lot of training in how to do this so I'm hopefully going to help monkey and all the Montana bears learn to read today and teach you how to follow along in the book while monkey follows along with us and um, hopefully we'll all get this down together so um Ready? We're going to start. Now, there's a few instructions, monkey, you got to follow. For one, I'm going to put my finger on a dot, but I don't want you to say anything until I get to the dot that's under the letter, okay? And then I'm going to say it, and then I want you to repeat. So, I'm going to touch under the sound and say the sound. So, I'm going to touch. Mmm. Ready? Your turn to say the sound when I touch. Get ready. Oh, good job, monkey. Yes, that's right. And you touched right when I, you said your sound right when I touched that little ball. Okay? So I'm going to touch the ball and then I want you to say the sound when I get there. So we're going to try it one more time. Ready? My turn. Mm. Your turn, monkey. Ready? Good job, monkey. You're doing fantastic. Now, this time, I'm going to touch under this sound and say the sound. Ready? S I'm going to do that again. Ready? S and I'm done. Your turn to do it. Ready, monkey? S oh, good job, monkey. One more time. S oh, monkey, you know what? you got to make sure you wait until I touch the middle dot. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mrs. Byer. Okay. Ready? Oh, good job, monkey. You did perfect. Thanks, Mrs. Byer. Okay, so we've completed task number one, monkey. Now, we're going to move on to task number two called Say It Fast. Okay, ready, boys and girls? So, monkey's going to... Talk, I want to hear everybody in the audience, bears and boys and girls. And we're going to play a game called 
say it fast. And the way this game is going to work is I'm going to say um, some sounds or some words and I want you to say them together as fast. Okay, monkey? So like, for example, the first one I'm going to say motor boat. And I want you to say motorboat after I say say it fast. So I'll say motor boat. Say it fast. Motorboat. Oh, good job, monkey. Exactly. Okay, ready? Next one. Listen. Ice cream. Say it fast. Ice cream. That's very good, monkey. Can you say it just a little bit faster? Ice cream. Say it fast. Ice cream. Oh, good job, monkey. You're really good at this game. Ready for the next one? Listen. Sister. Say it fast. Sister. Good job, monkey. Next one. Listen. Hamburger. Say it fast. Hamburger. Good work, monkey. Ready? Listen. Me. Say it fast. Me. Yeah, monkey, me. Good job. Next word. Ready? Listen. If. Say fast. If. Oh, that was easy, Mrs. Byer. All right. You did a great job, monkey and bears and boys and girls at home. What are we going to do now, Mrs. Byer? Now we're going to do task three, monkey. Say the sounds. Yeah, monkey, we're going to do say the sounds. So this is another one where I'm going to be doing a lot of reading and you're just going to be looking and being a good listener and bears, you be good listeners. And so I'm going to say some words slowly without stopping. Then you'll say them with me. Ready? First, I'll say, and... Sorry, I read that wrong. First, I'll say am slowly. Am. Now, I'll say me slowly. Me. Me. Oh, monkey, you got to wait. I'm going to say quite a few words before it's your turn. Ready? Okay, let's go back to the beginning and we'll start over. I'm going to say some words slowly without stopping. Then you'll say them with me. First, I'll say am slowly. Am. Next, I'll say me slowly. Me. Now I'll say in slowly. Listen. In. Now I'll say she slowly. Listen. She. Now, monkey, it's your turn and bears and boys and girls to say the word slowly with me. Take a deep breath and we'll say am. Get ready. Am. Oh, good job, monkey. That was just perfect. Now we'll say me slowly. Me. Your turn to say me with me. Ready, monkey? Say me. Me. Good work, monkey. Now I'll say in slowly. Listen. In. Your turn, monkey. In. Good job, monkey. And the last one we're going to say is she. Your turn. Ready? Say she. She. Good job, monkey. Now we'll say in. Ready? Your turn. We'll say in. Get ready. In. Now we'll say un. Get ready. Good job, monkey. Ready? Your turn to say words slowly by yourself. You say, am. Get ready. Am. Good job, monkey. You said all by yourself. Now this time you're going to say, if. Ready? If. Oh, monkey, you're so good at this. Say, me. Get ready. Me. Good job saying the word slowly, monkey, and bears and boys and girls at home. This is time for task four, Mrs. Byer. Task four? Yes, monkey. We're going to review the sounds up here again. So ready? Remember how we do this? I'll touch, I'll point, and you say the sound. Do you remember the sound? Get ready. Mm -hmm. oh, good job, monkey. 
Ready to do this sound? You remember the sound? Get ready. S oh, good job, monkey. You did perfect. You got both sounds right. Let's try this one again. Ready? Mm. Oh, good job, monkey. Get ready. S -s -s oh, monkey, make sure you wait till I get to the middle dot. Ready? S -s 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 -s. Oh, good try. Let's try that one more time. Make your S sound a little bit slower. Ready? S -s -s -s. Oh, perfect just like a snake you did a great job saying it fast thanks mrs fire boys and girls bears now it's your turn to say it fast let's have baby brown bear come up here baby brown bear you can say it fast ready mm. oh, good job baby brown bear ready S oh Good job, baby brown bear. Aren't you learning correctly? How about me, Mrs. Fire? Me. Okay, April, you can have a turn. Ready? You're going to come up. Can I touch the dots, Mrs. Fire? Uh, okay, April, I guess you could touch the dots. Ready? Ah! Oh, good job, April. Let's try this one. Oh, good job, April. You said them both correctly. Okay, bears, I'm going to give you another turn on a different lesson. It's up to task six, writing sounds. So we're going to get our whiteboards out and practice writing our letters and sounds. Okay, bears and girls and boys and everybody at home, we're going to practice writing our sounds. Task six from lesson one in our book, Teach Your Child to Read Words and Sentences. I'm going to be changing the name. In 100 easy lessons. So, um, we're going to write the sounds that I write. You're going to write a sound on each line. I will show you how to make each sound. Then you'll write each sound. Here's the first sound you're going to write. We're going to write, mmm. Here's how you make an, mmm. You start by going, make a vertical line down. And then up to the dotted line over the hump. One hill, two hills. M always reminds me of a mountain. So we're going to make a vertical line down. We're going to go up to the dotted line and make two hills. And we're going to put a little tail on the end because that's going to make it easier to write in cursive later. Um, okay, boys and girls, and I just drew these lines on paper so your mom and dad can probably draw them on paper for you okay so down over the hill over the hill and kick it up a little um, and I'm always big on tracing letters when you're first starting out so maybe your mom and dad can make these lines for you to trace. I've done a lot of that and then you can just go over what they wrote. Um, or there's fonts that you can download and print your own sheets. I did that a little sloppy. Okay, so that says mm. when you're making your letter you should go mm, and make the sound. First, you're going to trace the M that I made, then you're going to make more of them on your line. So your parent hopefully will make an mm for you to trace. And you can trace, even if you're using a whiteboard, you can do it and then you can erase it, what your parent did. Okay, then the next letter we're going to write, I guess we'll erase these. And then we're going to make our other letter we worked on today that says S. And to do that, we start at the dotted line and go S. 
kind of a hard letter to write. So boys and girls, I would say either have your parent write it and let you trace it. I would write it in some shaving cream. I would write it um, in sand. I would write it in dirt or pine cones or um, all sorts of places you can write it before you start to hold a pencil. And then once you do hold a pencil, I'll show you some tricks, but you should grab your tip with the three fingers and just kind of turn it upside down and that's your proper pencil grip. And I highly recommend for small hands, small golf size pencils. I think you can get like 500 of them or something or 100, whatever, more than you'll ever use for like five, 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, or those little golf size pencils are great for small hands. Hey, Mrs. Byer, can I come to school today? Sure, Sarah. Look, all the bears and girls are here today, and we're going to do our story, teach your child to read words and sentences in 100 easy lessons, lesson two. So, can I be your teacher helper today? Can I be your teacher helper, Mrs. Byer? Okay, Sarah, you could be my teacher helper. We're going to start with task one, sound review. So I'm going to touch under the sound, Sarah, and then I want you and the boys and girls and bears to say the sound with me. So get ready. Mm, everybody did a great job. Now, this time it's your turn to say it. I didn't hear anybody interrupt me. This time it's your turn to say it. Ready, boys and girls? Oh, wait, boys and girls, wait till I get to the middle, to the dot that's under the M, exactly. Ready? Oh, good job. You guys did great. And this time we're going to go under the next sound. Wait till I get to the middle. Ready? Oh, good job, everybody. Your turn. Is the time to do task four, Mrs. Byer, the sound review? Yep, Sarah, it is. So we're back over here. Can you remember? I'm gonna slide my finger under the letter when I get to the middle dots when your turn to talk. So ready? My turn for, or your turn, ready? Ah. Oh, good job, Sarah. And do you remember this one? Uh, what was that one, Mrs. Byer? This sounds like this, Sarah, my turn. Oh, yeah, I remember. S oh, good job, Sarah. Get ready one more time. S okay. Who over here wants a turn? Can I have a turn today, Mrs. Byer? Oh, sure, Big Bear. You can have a turn. Ready? I'm going to go over here, and you're going to sound it out. So, ready? Mm oh, good job, Brown Bear. Ready for this one? S Oh, good job, Brown Bear. You got it all. Are we going to do task number five? Save the sound sound, Mrs. Bear? Yeah, Baby Bear, we're going to do task number five. We're going to play a new Say It Fast game. First, you'll say the word that I say slowly. Then you'll say it fast. Ready? Me. Me. Now say it fast. Me. Good job, Baby Bear. Let's try that one more time. I'll say it, then you say it. I'm going to say it slowly, and then you say it slowly. Ready? Me. Me. Say it fast. Me. Oh, good work. My turn. Ready? Say, man. Man. Oh, good work. Now say it fast. Man. Oh, baby bear, black bear, you are so good at this. Ready? Say, if. If. Now say it fast. If. Say, we, we, now say it fast, we, oh, baby bear, you're so good at this, let's do those one more time, but I'm going to let brown baby bear have a turn this time, ready, brown baby bear, we're going to play the new say it fast game first, you'll say the word that I say slowly, then you say it fast, first word, ready, say, me, me, now say it fast. Me. Oh, baby bear. 
This time, the second time, I want you to say just the regular word. Just say me. So first we'll say me. And then you'll say me. Ready? Me. Okay, will you be there? Let me have a turn. Me. Me. Say it fast. Me. Okay, this time, baby bear, you're going to say, man. Okay, baby bear, I'll say man, you say man. Ready? Man. Man. And now say it fast. Man. Say a little faster, baby bear. Man. Say a little bit faster. Man. There you go, baby bear. One more time. Let's try that from the beginning. Say it slowly and then say it fast. Man, man, say it fast. Man, oh, good job, baby bear. All right, this time I want you to try to put the sounds together without me telling you what it sounds like saying it fast. So listen big, ready? If, if, say it fast. If, oh, there you go, baby bear, getting better. All right, ready? We. Say it fast. We. Okay. You're getting there, baby bear. You'll get the hang of it. Should we have one more bear? Pick me, pick me, Mrs. Fire. Okay, Alex. Monkey. Let's just put the other bears back on their seat. Come do this with us. I know this is kind of tricky, and especially when you're not looking at the words, it's sometimes confusing. Okay? So, I'll say the word slowly. You say the word that I say slowly. And then you say it fast. Put the sounds together as fast as you can. Okay, monkey, but be careful. Okay, ready. Here we go. First word. Me. Me. Say it fast, monkey. Me. Good. Ready? Man. Man. Good. Say it fast. Man. Exactly. Ready? If. Good. Say it fast. If. Yep. Last one. We. We. Say it fast. We. Oh, wow. That was excellent, boys and girls. And baby brown bear, you're getting the hang of it. I heard you're doing some good job. So, boys and girls, I know it's hard sometimes when you don't get to see the words, but that's how we learn our sounds. Okay, and we are going to do lesson two, the sound review. So, Sarah... I'm going to demonstrate and then it'll be your turn. So I'm going to touch under this sound. When I get to the middle of that, I'm going to say the sound all the way over to the arrow. So ready? My turn. Mm. I'm going to do it again. Ready? Mm. Okay. Sarah, boys and girls, bears, it's your turn. Get ready. Mm. Oh, good job, bears. Let's do that one more time. Get ready. Oh, remember to wait for my finger to get to the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh, good job. Everybody's saying, mm, nice. Okay, this time it's my turn to say the letter over here. Ready? I'll go to the dot and say the sound. Ready? S I'm going to do that one more time. S okay, boys and girls, now it's your turn. Ready, Sarah? S oh, let's try that one more time. S oh, good job, everybody who said that at home with me. Bears, you did a perfect job of following along and just doing it when I push the middle, when I touch the middle button. Is it time for lesson two, task two, Mrs. Byer? Yes, sir. We're doing lesson two, task two, say it fast. So what I want you to do, Sarah, is I'm going to say some words, and I'm going to say some parts of the words, and then I want you to say it fast first. My turn. Lawn mower. Lawn mower. Oh, Sarah, wait till I say it fast. Ready? Lawn mower. Say it fast. Lawn mower. Oh, that was very good. You guys are doing a great job. The next one. Ready? New word. Sidewalk. Say it fast. Sidewalk. Yes, sidewalk. Say it fast, sir. Sidewalk. Oh, excellent. Okay, this one's going to be um, another one for you. Ready? My turn. 
listen if your turn if good new word listen me your turn say it fast me good new word listen in say it fast in good new word listen she your turn ready she oh good job sarah you said it fast okay now we're going to go to task three i'm going to say some words slowly without stopping and then you'll say them with me ready sarah so first i'll say she slowly she now i'll say me slowly listen me now i'll say ship slowly listen ship now it's your turn to say the word slowly with me take a deep breath and we're all gonna say she get ready everybody she oh good job i heard all of you bears and boys and girls now we'll say me get ready me oh good works now we're gonna say ship get ready ship and the last one we're gonna say is am get ready am oh you did good sarah let's do a couple more since you're doing such a good job ready in in oh sarah let's try that again let's make sure we say it all in one smooth breath so in Oh, good job. And the last one we're going to say is if. Get ready. If. Oh, good job saying the words slowly, Sarah, and boys and girls at home. Okay, bears and girls and boys and everybody at home. We're going to practice writing our sounds. Task six from lesson one in our book, Teach Your Child to Read Words and Sentences. I'm changing the name. In 100 easy lessons. So, um, we're going to write the sounds that I write. You're going to write a sound on each line. I will show you how to make each sound. Then you'll write each sound. Here's the first sound you're going to write. We're going to write, mmm. Here's how you make an, mmm. You start by going, make a vertical line down. And then up to the dotted line over the hump. One hill, two hills. M always reminds me of a mountain. So we're gonna make a vertical line down. We're gonna go up to the dotted line and make two hills. And we're gonna put a little tail on the end because that's gonna make it easier to write in cursive later. Um, Okay, boys and girls, and I just drew these lines on paper, so your mom and dad can probably draw them on paper for you, okay? So, down, over the hill, over the hill, and kick it up a little. Um, and I'm always big on tracing letters when you're first starting out, so maybe your mom and dad can make these lines for you to trace. I've done a lot of that and then you can just go over what they wrote. Um, or there's fonts that you can download and print your own sheets. I did that a little sloppy. Okay, so that says mm. when you're making your letter you should go mm, and make the sound. First, you're going to trace the M that I made, then you're going to make more of them on your line. So your parent hopefully will make an mm for you to trace. And you can trace, even if you're using a whiteboard, you can do it and then you can erase it, what your parent did. Okay, then the next letter we're going to write, I guess we'll erase these. Mm. Mm. Oops. Mm. And 
And then we're going to make our other letter we worked on today that says S. And to do that, we start at the dotted line and go S. It's kind of a hard letter to write. So boys and girls, I would say either have your parent write it and let you trace it. I would write it in some shaving cream. I would write it um, in sand. I would write it in dirt or pine cones or um, all sorts of places you can write it before you start to hold a pencil. And then once you do hold a pencil, I'll show you some tricks. But you should grab your tip with the three fingers and just kind of turn it upside down and that's your proper pencil grip. And I highly recommend for small hands, small golf size pencils. I think you can get like 500 of them or something or 100, whatever. More than you'll ever use for like five, ten bucks on Amazon. Um, or those little golf size pencils are great for small hands. Hey, Mrs. Byer, can I be your helper today? Sure, BB Black Bear. Can you believe we're already up to lesson three and we're getting a new sound already today? Oh, cool, Mrs. Byer. I like going to Montana Bear School and learning to read. Well, I like you having you here. Okay, so remember how we do this? I'm going to put my finger under the sound when I get to the dot, which I'm missing a dot on this letter, and then we'll keep going. So, uh, what did I think? I was thinking I could put the clothespin where the dot would be. So don't say anything until you see me get to the clothespin. Okay, bears and boys and girls, we're gonna have the clothespin there. So, our new sound says, ah. Everybody, listen to me say the new sound again. Ready? Ah. Just like an apple. It's your turn to say the sound. Let me say it one more time, bears. Ah. Okay, ready? Everybody say it with me. Ah. Oh, you did a great job. Yes, that sound is ah. Your turn to say the sound again, bears. Ready? Ah. And let's do it one more time. Ready? Ah. And one more time. Ah. Well, one of the bears forgot to wait for the clothespin. So ready? Ah. Oh, good job. Okay, now we're going to do our sound review, boys and girls. Yesterday we learned these letters. So let's see if you can say all of these sounds without my help. Remember to wait till I get to the dot. Oh, good work. Next one. Ready? Wait till I get to the clothespin. Ah, oh, good job. And do you remember our last one? Oh, good job, boys and girls. Let's try it one more time. Ready? We're going to start here. Mm. Ah. S Good job, boys and girls. Can you believe we know three letters already on our third lesson? Okay, bears and boys and girls at home, it's time for task three. Lesson three, task three, say the sounds. So it's your turn to say the sounds slowly. First, I'm going to sound it out, and you'll say it slowly just like me. Run. Your turn, bears. Run. Oh, good job. Ready? My turn. Say, man. Your turn, bears. Man. Oh, good work. Ready? Say, this. Oh, good job. And the last, we have another one. We, we, my turn to say, she, she. Oh, good work. Let's try those again. Ready? Baby Brown Bear, will you say them? My turn. Run. Baby Brown Bear, your turn. Run. Oh, good job, Baby Brown Bear. My turn. Man, your turn, baby brown bear. Man, my turn. This, your turn, baby brown bear. This, 
we we she she wow good job nobody missed any thanks boys and girls are we gonna do task four now mrs buyer yeah we're gonna do task four playing say it fast with our letter sounds up here okay ready so we're gonna play it say it fast my turn Ready? Say it fast. Mm. Oh, good job, everybody. So first you'll say it slowly, then you'll say it fast. Say the sound slowly. Mm. Now, repeat by saying it fast. Mm. Yep. Okay, one more time. Ready, baby bear? You're going to say it slowly, and then you're going to say it fast. Mm. Um, actually, you should probably wait till I get to the middle, so. Mm. And then you're going to say it fast this time. Ready? Mm. Good. Okay, this time we're going to do our A. Wait till we get to the middle to say it. So I'll say it first. Ah. And then I'll say, ah. Your turn, baby bear. Ah. Ah. Good. And then we're going to go to our last one and say, and then we're going to say it fast. S Ready? Your turn, baby bear. S your turn, baby bear. My fault. Sorry. S Good job, baby bear. And then say it fast. S oh, you did a fantastic job of saying it fast. Should we let one of the other bears have a turn? April bear, you want a turn? Okay. Okay, Mrs. Byer, show me what to do. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of it, April Bear. Ready? And say it fast. Oh, good job, April Bear. Ready? Ah, say it fast. Ah. Oh, good job, April Bear. Last one. Ready? S say it fast. S oh, April Bear, you did a wonderful job of singing it fast. Can you practice those at home, boys and girls, and bears and bears? Okay, boys and girls and bears and everybody at home, we're gonna practice writing the sounds that I write. So the first sound we're gonna write is ah, and uh, I'm just gonna use the simple ah. Uh, you can write a fancier one if you have the book to go with the one in the book they want you to write the one that looks like that, but we're just gonna write this and the way we write our ah sound is we make a circle and without picking our pencil up, we're gonna go back, down, around, and curve. Please don't make a circle with a leaf. That will really upset Mrs. Byer. So what we want to do is all in one stroke say ah, and I like to say pull. gonna write our mm sound and remember how we did that yesterday we went down a vertical line down over the hill over the hill and around and we're gonna say boys and girls and bears at home I want your parent or a brother or sister or a friend or a guardian or somebody to write some letters for you and then you trace them remember I showed you how we could trace them you can just erase it if you're using a whiteboard you can um, write with shaving cream we used to do that a lot of head start just make sure you say mm. Your parents can make the dotted letters for you. You can get them off of, you can download the font and type it up, um, some letters. So, uh, and I think I have some tracing videos. If you need help, don't hesitate to reach out to me. So, 
have a fun writing lesson and we'll move on to the next task. Okay, we're gonna do task six. I'm going to say the sounds on the arrow or on our board. Um, so ready? Here I go. And remember the coast pin's my dot, so. Am, am. This time I'm going to say the sounds you touch under each sound as I say it. Put your finger on the first ball and get ready. Oh, I need a bear to come help me. Come on, monkey, I need your finger. Ready? I'm gonna say the sounds and you're gonna put your finger up here, monkey, okay? Ready? Um, um, good job. And that's how we say, um, are we going to do task number five, save the sound song, Mrs. Bear? Yeah, baby bear, we're going to do task number five. We're going to play a new say it fast game first you'll say the word that i say slowly then you'll say it fast ready me me now say it fast me good job baby bear let's try that one more time i'll say it then you say it i'm gonna say it slowly then you say it slowly ready me me say it fast me oh good work my turn. Ready? Say, man, man. Oh, good work. Now say it fast. Man. Oh, baby bear, black bear, you are so good at this. Ready? Say, if, if. Now say it fast. If. Say, we, we. Now say it fast. We. Oh, baby bear, you're so good at this. Let's do those one more time, but I'm going to let brown baby bear have a turn this time. Ready, brown baby bear? We're going to play the new say it fast game first. You'll say the word that I say slowly, then you say it fast. First word, ready? Say, me, me. Now say it fast. Me. Oh, baby bear. This time, the second time, I want you to say just the regular word. Just say, me. So first we'll say, me, and then you'll say, me. Ready? Me. Okay, wait, baby bear, let me have a turn. Me. Me. Say it fast. Me. Okay, this time, baby bear, you're going to say, man. Okay, baby bear, I'll say man, you say man. Ready? Man. Man. And now say it fast. Man. Say a little faster, baby bear. Man. Say a little bit faster. Man. There you go, baby bear. One more time. Let's try that from the beginning. Say it slowly and then say it fast. Man. Man. Say it fast. Man. Oh, good job, baby bear. All right, this time I want you to try to put the sounds together without me telling you what it sounds like saying it fast. So listen big, ready? If, if, say it fast. If, oh, there you go, baby bear, getting better. All right, ready? We, we, say it fast. We, okay, you're getting there, baby bear. You'll get the hang of it. Should we have one more bear? Pick me, pick me, Mrs. Bear. Okay, Alex, monkey. Let's just put the other bears back on their seat. Come do this with us. I know this is kind of tricky, and especially when you're not looking at the words, it's sometimes confusing, okay? So, I'll say the word slowly. You say the word that I say slowly, and then you say it fast. Put the sounds together as fast as you can, okay, monkey? But be careful. Okay, ready, here we go. First word. Me, me. Say it fast, monkey. Me. Good. Ready? Man, man. Good, say it fast. Man. Exactly. Ready? If, if. 
Good. Say it fast. If. Yep. Last one. We. We. Say it fast. We. Oh, wow. That was excellent, boys and girls. And baby brown bear, you're getting the hang of it. I heard you're doing some good job. So, boys and girls, I know it's hard sometimes when you don't get to see the words, but that's how we learn our sounds. Okay, I'm going to say the sounds on the arrow. Ready? S. S. Okay, get ready. I'm going to say the sounds on the arrow. S. S. And your turn to say the sounds with me. Ready? S. And. Don't forget, monkey, we have to use your hand. So this time you're going to touch. Ready? As I say the sounds. S. S. Okay, sir, it's time for task five. Say it fast. Let's play say it fast again. Ready? Listen. Sister. Say it fast. Sister. Good job, Sarah. Miss. Ter. Say it fast. Mister. Oh, good work. Ready? Mother. Say it fast. Mother. Oh, perfect. If. Say it fast. If. And then we're going to say. E. C. Good work. One more. No. Say it fast. No. And the last one. Am. Say it fast. Am. Oh, good job. Let's do those one more time. April Bear, will you come be my helper? And we're going to repeat that one more time just to make sure we've got it, our letter sounds down. So first one. Sister. Say it fast, April. Sister. Miss. Ter. Say it fast. Mister. Ma. Mother. Say it fast. Mother. S e. Say it fast. C. I f. If. Say it fast. If. Oh, I kind of made the mistake. Wait, let me say that one again. If. Say it fast, April. If. No. Say it fast. No. Um. Say it fast, April. Am. Oh, boys and girls, you did a great job. And Mrs. Byer even made a few mistakes. But bears were still learning.